what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys as you see by the title got an interesting one here i was like the season is here vegas here i come and i was wanting to just do this video of some of the top players and teams that i'm gonna be looking at uh for the most part this year you know my jersey should be here today i should be getting my jersey today um super excited man that's the first time uh well not the first it's the first time i ordered something from australia but i got some stuff back here i also tried some foods and or candy snacks from australia before because on my other channel been learning a lot about australia man but i'm excited to get to this list because i found a list i have my own but i also found a list that uh an author did on espn so it's going to be interesting i was already looking over it it's about 15 17 players to watch from certain teams that we're going to check out man but now i'm excited to get my jersey man and i have some other big news i'm pretty sure i probably said it in another video or something but i'm not sure but shout out to my guy blake thomas uh on instagram he gave me some other creators and um uh, podcasts from ex nrl players and you know some other people that are fans of it so i'm sure y'all know uh probably bloke in the bar levels network uh rugby league guru hello sport um and that's just a few right there and i was looking definitely some stuff i want to check out learn a little bit more as i'm learning you know so this list ain't you know one of the uh i'm i'm learning i'm learning the sport and some of the players some of the teams it's a bunch that I just see in the comments from you guys, you know, so and certain players from what I've seen. So and I'm like, dang, I like that guy I like that. Even with the uh, NRLW with the women's, there's two girls. I'm like, ooh, you check them out. But uh, didn't get to add them to the list. But if you've seen that one, there's a girl on there right now. Matter of fact, I need to find her. I need to find her because she was she was pretty good. I don't know. Let me see. Typing up L W. Oh, that's not right. I'm looking right now just to see. Okay. I'm guessing. I'm guessing the women are still on this. Oh, no. We're here. We're here, I think. I don't know. I don't know if the girls have, the women have their own website or not. Because it's not showing me anything. But she's on the Dragons, I know. She's on the Dragons. But, and I'll show y'all. If it lets me. <laughs> nah, we can jump, we jumping into this video though. We jumping into this video. Uh, Like I said, it's it's one of those things it's <laughs> very opinionated you know so that's that's the main thing right there uh just my opinion what i think i try to block it up there so because i got them i got all the tabs pulled up up here but this is the nf uh this is the espn espn nrl team much watch player 2024 uh of course number one got those broncos selwyn kobo uh, I like this guy. I had to look. I was like, that name sound familiar. And hey, it was the guy. It was the guy that I was looking. At. I was like, this man probably had the most tries this season for the Broncos. It seems, as at least from that highlight video, it seems like he did have that. It seems like it. But uh, we got another one, uh, Jamal. I don't even want to mess up that last name with the Raiders, uh, Bulldogs, Steven. Crichton, Crichton, Crichton. I think that's how you say it. I probably messed that up too. From the Sharks, Braden. I have a Braden on my basketball team. Got Braden Trindle. Uh, and some of these guys, I'm not going to lie. From the Broncos, I knew Selwyn. I think from the mo majority of the list, I didn't know most of these guys. But it's going to be interesting to, to keep up with them. Uh, got the Dolphins, Tom Flegler titans oh that's the first time i heard about the titans i haven't really been 
seeing that the Titans, really the Titans and the Dolphins. I really haven't been seeing that in the comments. Uh, I've seen the Sharks. Uh, Tino, shout out to Tino. Uh, sea Eagles, Luke Brooks. I know the Sea Eagles pretty, for the most part, they're pretty decent, pretty decent team. They're going to be in Vegas, I believe. Um, the Storm, Ryan. I can't even say that last name. Uh, the Knights, seen the Knights, uh, seen a little bit of the Storm from just just highlight videos. Uh, the Warriors got Roger, Roger, uh, check. I don't know how to say the Tuvasa, Tuvasa. I think, I think that's how you say it. But hey, the Warriors one of those teams. You know they got Sean Johnson, so I I like that guy. He was like one of the first i seen in the league when it came to reactions. The Cowboys got time. Uh, the Eels will pin. Pin this knee. I don't even know how to say that. I know what I see in it, but I don't know how to say it. Uh, the Panthers. Panthers are another one. I, and I'm going to. Jerome. Lou, I don't even know how to say that last dragons got kyle flanagan uh like i said the dragons also has a girl i forgot her name somebody told or i heard it when i did the video but on the women's side the dragons got a one she got some speed she's probably the fastest in the league i'm not even gonna lie rabbitos got jack whiten i might have heard this name i might have heard this name rabbitos is definitely one of those teams i was seeing a lot that's why I end up doing one of the videos for um, the Roosters, of course, James, and the Tigers. I've been hearing a lot about the Tigers, but I've <laughs> I seen a lot because I they finished, I believe they finished last, I believe. I might be wrong on that, but that's just, this is just ESPN list, so I'm going to keep this list handy just to check it out. Just to see for myself to keep up with these guys to see how they do it now. But we getting into my top. We got my top. Top five. Top five teams so far that I want to keep up with. And it's multiple players on these teams. It's either a player or more multiple. Uh, Y'all know who I'm starting with first, man. Uh. It's no, it's a no brainer. The Roosters, the Roosters. What was y'all thinking? Uh, yeah, I wanted to check out the Roosters. This man right here, Dominic Young. I thought he played with somebody else. I wasn't sure, but we just hear on their website. Shout out to the Sydney Roosters. Uh, but yeah, man, I seen Dominic, and I was like, man, dude is pretty good, you know. So. We're going to check out some of his numbers and see see what he going to do next this year uh, as the season is approaching, man. Pretty young. August, hey, August 2 out here, you know. Dang, 2001, that make me feel old, man. I was born in the 90s. But guy got 43 tries in his career. Let's see what he did last year. He got, ended up getting 25. Scoring 100 points. Not bad. Not bad. Um, But, yeah, like I said, I thought he played with somebody. Yeah, maybe it was the Roosters the whole time. I thought he played with the Knights. But I don't know. Look at that right there. But he definitely got a good future ahead of him, man. Uh, especially being so young, man. It's, that was one of the main things I, I hoped for, making it to the professional side of things. At a very young age, man, uh, especially before you reach that prime and understanding the game, you know, of course, you got to establish yourself before those prime time. Hit, cause when, once you're in your prime, that's when that's when you're really trying to win the whole thing. You know, uh, here in the States, you know, people say this is what people sometimes people think and say, like, you want to make it to the league to get a championship. In reality, you're trying to get a contract because you're trying to get the money trying to change your life first then later on you get older get established get that big contract boom championships maybe depending on who you are but that's just how it is 
in the States. So, but like I said, shout out to Dominic. Definitely going to be watching him. Uh, Next, we got the Warriors. We got the Warriors. As y'all see, I was already scrolling, looking, looking down to see who else. Uh, Of course, they had somebody on ESPN list. If I'm not mistaken, down here, his name was Roger. Okay, Roger. So, definitely going to be checking out Roger, one of those players to watch right here. And, like I said, they got Sean Johnson. They got Sean. Uh, if I can, there he is. Right there, halfback. So, Sean been in the league a long time. That's what I've seen. That's what I've seen. At, uh <laughs> I'm sure he's going to have a lot, a lot. You know, sometimes, you you know, look at the, look at that. <coughs> Since 2011, you know, that that's a true veteran right here. At this point, you reach that many years in your career. It's just one of those things where now you're just trying to be that good leader, be that good vet, lead these young guys, you know, leave all the work up to them type of thing. But I'm sure he's still going to get it done. He's still going to get it done, man. But just imagine being a professional that long, man. It's insane. Insane. But we got my guy, Roger. Okay. He's close to my age. He's 30. Um, I'm 28. So, but shoot. Then again, he played a good amount of years. Look at that. Since 2012. So, he upped that with Sean. So, it is one of those things. It. It's really just wait. Last time, oh, why is showing the last time twenty? Was he injured or something? It's just showing his stats up to until twenty twenty one. So I don't know if he got hurt or not. I'm gonna have to go back and look at Sean's and see where his stop. But uh, like I said, they they're both close in age, so they played a long time. So that that experience. That experience is a game changer, man. That's one thing. I, <laughs> we played a team in the playoffs. We played a team in the playoffs, and I told my guys, like, this team is used to being in this position. They're used to this. We got to, yep. Yeah, so his one of the 20. My guy must have got hurt. Roger must have got hurt, man. But I'm telling my guys, like, this team is used to making the playoffs. They're used. They're usually first in their district. They just happen to get second this year in their district, and it's one of those things. If you're not almost perfect in the game, minimizing your mistakes, that experience is gonna win every time. Because with the experience, you don't fold. Don't get me wrong. We got down, but we been we we been there before. We been down, tied it up. But it's like that experience now, they're just adjusting to our mistakes. And what was our mistake? Getting in foul trouble, firstly. My best players got in foul trouble, man. But that's what happens when you're when you're new to something. That experience can that experience can bite you because they're just they're disciplined. They're more disciplined because they've been here before. They know what to expect. They know what to do, man. But that's just my little little uh TED talk on that. But definitely going to be watching the Warriors. So shout out to the Warriors. Uh, next, this is in no particular order or anything either. But next, we have those Panthers, man. Uh, I hope it ain't showing it up there when I'm going. I ain't even look it. But we have the Panthers. Uh, I think the Panthers did have somebody, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wrong one. It was a lot of names. That's why I'm just going back and forth. That's easy to do. All right. Jerome. Jerome, I believe that's how you say it. Jerome. But one of the main guys I want to check out was Nathan. Nathan, clearly. Um, see this guy a lot. Uh, younger than me, actually. So pretty cool. Let's see. 2016 since 2016. So he's been doing his thing, very committed to the Panthers, I see. Uh, but I wouldn't trade a guy like this at all, especially since they just won it. Uh, they won it, what, was it? Was it Broncos and Panthers? I think it was. I'm trying to remember. I looked at the last year game, but I'm trying to, I knew it was the Broncos. I think it was the Panthers. If not, the Panthers have won it 
here recently, I believe. Let's see. They think we premiered when he knew. Yeah, I believe it was. But other than that, like I, I've seen this guy a lot of times, and I was like, and he's on like one of the thumbnails, so that's why I was like, that face looked familiar. But this guy is good. This guy is good, and just hearing them talk about him, like he's the type of pay, uh, he's the type of player you want on your team, man. He is not saying that the other ones aren't, but just hearing like the leaderships and the way he plays and stuff, man, he's the type of guy you want on your team, especially like as a coach. Like, once I start coaching, there's certain guys that you just love to have on your team, man. And and on top of that, they have that skill. Having that skill makes – man, that's that's just what I wish. That's what I wish. Some of my guys that ain't the most skilled on my team, I'd be like, please, come on, get better, please. Like, you're a very coachable kid, man. But we got Jerome right here. Been in the league since 2018. Okay, so they saying he he might do something. So we're going to see. We're going to see Jerome. Uh Romy Rome. Romy. I like that nickname. Uh there's a character on Martin that he played named Jerome. Be like Romy Rome. But no, nah, man, still young, still right there, 27, so entering that prime, man. So hopefully he stay healthy, have a good season, man, but yeah, I, I I learned so much coaching, man. So certain players, man. Yeah, I don't. If you're a coach out there, you you understand having that coachable player, and he got talent, man. It you just tell him what he needs to do. Yes, sir. Go out there and do it, man. That's the type of players I like. But next we have those rabbitos. Uh, I was definitely uh, they got a pretty nice website too. He ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of looking through it. Pretty nice website set up and stuff. But I was looking through. I knew this was a team I've seen frequently. I've seen so much in the comments, in my DMs, all that stuff. And I was like, who, what's the player that I need to watch, brother? And I seen Latrell. I seen Latrell Mitchell. And I've seen this name a couple of times uh, when I asked, hey, who the players I need to watch, blah, blah. Latrell Mitchell. Definitely gonna be watching this guy. Uh right here. Uh hey, that's that prime that's around that entering that prime age just about right there. So I think I seen I seen him in some highlights, I believe. Probably did I I did a rabbit old video. It was short, short and sweet, nothing major. But uh oh, this all there. Oh, it's on the 2024 stats. That's why. I'm like, what the? Uh, but yeah, gonna be watching this guy on the Rabbitohs, and uh, I just know this is a team. Like, I did the 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 promo video. The one guy owns it, but this is the team I'm really, really interested in because they said this is the oldest team in the league. And like it, it's a lot of people that follow me on Instagram that are Rabbit Old fans, man. But Latrell definitely gonna definitely gonna be watching this guy, man. And I know I'm probably blocking all the oh no, I ain't blocking nothing really important. Y'all know he a fool, but y'all should know these things and all that. Um let's see. Well there's somebody I don't think there was nobody on the for the rabbits. Oh yeah, Jack. Well let's check out Jack real quick. Go to Jack. See what Jack working with. Where's Jack? Like I said, if you haven't, man, check out this. Uh, check out this website. It's pretty nice. Jack. Oh, that experience. Thirty one. That experience right there, man. That experience. Just know these guys started off very young. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing. See, it's just giving me a whole bunch of stuff, so I don't even know when he first started. Let's see. He's a new recruit for the Rapidos. It seems that. Right? So I'm guessing this is his first season with these guys. So that's going to be interesting what they have to say. 
The Blur Raiders. So he was with the Raiders. So hmm. We got a we got a trade out here. Probably not a trade, but uh we got a first first year with with the team type of thing. Maybe this would be a key guy, man, for the Rabbit Dogs. We'll see, man. Y'all like I said, y'all know more than me, so y'all let me know. It was Jack a good pickup? It seems like it is. It seems like it is, man. So um that's gonna be interesting to see. But I'm I'm just interested in this team for sure. See what they're going to bring because, I, like I said, I hear a lot about them. hear a lot about them. Then last but not least, man, uh, y'all know who. Y'all know who. Them Broncos. And there's like three people, you know. Uh, of course, y'all seen Selwyn. We know what he can do. We know what he can do. Ezra, you know, Reese. But. I'm excited for this team, man. I'm excited for this team to see what they're going to do this year. So he had about, so he came in 2021. Nice, nice. Pretty young. Oh, 21. Dang. He was out there playing like very experienced type though. He was. But you can just see as the years progress how much he start getting better, man. Uh, that's one thing you look for just the progression each year each year so he scored 20 tries it seemed like it was more from that video so they got some young talent even reese reese out here man they're pretty young 21 too as well so uh he got nine try oh i didn't know reese was with the uh the warriors these years where he got his start, man. I I think he, he they hit a gold mine with him, man. I he meshed very well with the team now, man. Like it makes a difference. I'm telling you, you get when you make trade trades are so risky, man. Cause you want this player, and you you hope it helps the team, but that player too when they when they get traded or you know move to another team, man, they gotta already adapt to the culture that's going on in that team you know with that team that's one of the main things man because you've seen guys pick up great you see them pick up great talent and it just don't work out it just don't work out you see it all the time superstars and uh it just don't work out man but uh Ezra that's only his he's young too I didn't know all these guys were this young dang they got a young team they got a young team man you just hope it, it wish they still did pretty good. Hmm. That's pretty amazing, man. He had eighteen tries. Like I, said, I knew Selwyn had had a good amount. He had a he had I knew he had the most so far at least. It might be somebody else. Um I probably ain't mentioned their name. Cause it's a couple of guys on this team that are pretty good. It's a lot, but they got a young core group. They really do. Very young out here, man. That's that's gonna be nice that's real nice out here but uh yeah man i i enjoyed this just being able to really do some research and talk about this season like i'm not a true analyst or nothing like that nothing i'm just a guy here just trying to learn uh <laughs> NFL I haven't been able to watch the NFL especially it hasn't to me it hasn't been the same it hasn't been the same so uh that's I'm jumping into this been learning about different countries and Australia sports it's to me no offense to like the other sports and stuff but I like it I like I like the action that I see the excitement that I see in the sports in Australia man even with the AFL you know and maybe it's just that kid and me knowing like the big hits and all. That's what we looked for, man. That is what we looked for. But I enjoy this. Uh, I hope y'all did as well. Y'all let me know in the comment. Hey, who are your top five teams? Who are your top players that you can't wait to see? Like that's ESPN's list. That's that author's list. He told us to watch. And you know, I have my five teams that I'm gonna be looking out for as well, man. But this was good glad i was able to do a little digging seeing what i 
but hey, I couldn't have done this without y'all, man. So uh, this was definitely real good. Uh, like I mentioned, those podcasts. Y'all make sure y'all check out those podcasts I mentioned, man, because hearing stories and stuff from ex players it makes a difference. Like I've been watching a lot of podcasts now lately, just from ex NFL or NBA players and. It hits different versus just hearing analysts just complain that never played basketball and they're just saying this and that. But being a player, actually knowing the game and playing the game, it's totally different. It's totally different. So you love those stories. Love to hear all that. So uh, I definitely can't wait to check out more of these podcasts to see which one I like, which one. Uh, like I said, the ex, you're an ex-player. It makes a difference. It makes the stories like you are like they they were there. They were there. So it makes you feel like you are you're there right now, man. But this was good. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget another video coming soon. Uh my jersey coming. So but y'all be blessed, be the best and be you. I'm out. <laughs>